What's up guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Um, today I want to cover um, a Cinema 4D tutorial where I'm going to be showing you something with meta balls and I'm going to be showing you something new that I recently figured out. I've never seen anyone else do um, what I did and I know you're thinking like, oh, meta balls, like, you know, how, how new or unique can you possibly get with it? Well, I mean, I don't know, but I guess you'll have to find out. So I want to show you guys how I did that right there, that, this, and I know you're probably thinking like, you know, I used a cloner or something like that. No, I did not. I actually find uh, what I did to be a little easier, and uh, I think it gives a really cool look. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, right away, let's go ahead and grab out a sphere. Um, I'm just going to leave it at its default and then um, I'm going to go here and grab a displacer of all things. Um, let's go to shading, um, custom shader and click on this shader. Um, where's that noise? And as you can see it's already starting to uh, get kind of wavy looking. And uh, if we crank up the strength here you can see it gets all deformed and stuff. Um, what you're going to want to do is it looks really bad right now. Go ahead and remove the fawn tag. Delete that and you know, already it looks better. Um, so now what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to bring this back down to 100. Yeah. Leave it at 100. Height I'm going to bring down. Zero. Anyway, and now we're going to go um, Oop, wrong one here, and then meta ball. We're gonna just drag it right in. And uh, let's go ahead and turn down the whole value here. Well, eh, I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to decide. I don't want it too big or too small or anything. I'm gonna put it about 65%, I guess, something like that. Um, editor, editor subdivisions. Now, render subdivision and editor subdivision are two different things. Um, I recommend keeping the editor subdivisions kind of high because when you lower it, well, as you can see, it becomes a lot smoother, but it makes your render or your um, viewport here lag a ton. So um, keep this at probably around 25. Or really, you can go as high as you want. I'll, I'll go 35. Um, anyway, that just helps keep it nice and smooth. As you can see, there's no lag. So um, keep that kind of low, and then keep the render subdivisions about five, um, or or lower if you need to go lower. You probably won't need to though. And um, what it does is um, this will keep it from lagging in the viewport, and when you render, it will be nice and smooth. So anyway, enough wasting time with that. Um, so displacer. Um, what I did was pretty simple. All you do is increase the strength up, and increase the height. So you just play around with the strength and height and as you can see you get those um, little metal balls flying all over the place. And um, it's really cool. I like it. Um, you can Play with these different settings. Um, as you can see, they kind of do different things. Um, anyway, let's see. What else can we do here? Um, what else I did was I just took out three spheres one, two, and three and I also placed them in the uh, metal ball. And I just animated them to uh, move around in different directions to add a little more life to it some more randomness and um, uh, let's see what else do we do um, let's go ahead and show you how I lit it lit the scene up so sky um, and then we're going to create a new material um, turn off the specular and under color go to texture load image and what I did was I used in uh, HDR HDR light studio I believe it was this one here. 
at Sony Light Studios. That that was only a couple of them that I, or you know, some of them that I had. I have way more. I love Light Studios. Um, HDR HDR Light Studios. HDR I Light Studios. I really can't talk today. This tutorial is going to turn out great. Anyway, so I put that on, right clicked on Sky, Cinema 4D tags, compositing, turn off scene by camera. And then next thing is uh, create new material. This one's going to be for the metal ball. Um, leave, it, leave it like a white. And then I turned off specular, turned on reflection. Um, I don't exactly remember where the reflection was. I'm going to, I'm going to settle for 15 right now. And then under my render settings, I went to global illumination. Go ahead and turn this to low and preview so it doesn't take a while. And then ambient occlusion I turned on and then anti-aliasing best. And then one by four. So let's go ahead and make a preview render here. Already you can see some nice reflections and stuff. Um, obviously it doesn't look that great because we have a bunch of uh, or it's not very smooth rather. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and put it at about 10. That should help smooth it out more. There we go. That's better. So that's it. Um, all you guys have to do is just play around this technique. Um, just go ahead and animate it. Animating is pretty simple. Um, I imagine most of you probably know how to do that already. Um, if not, you can go ahead and look up an animation tutorial. I've done some. And um, so my render settings um, for global illumination, I think I turned this to a medium, something like that. Uh, and then general, you probably want to do IR plus QMC camera animation. That tends to be a little better quality. Anti-aliasing, I just left this um, as is. You might want to change this to uh, animation though. Um, as far as the uh, save goes, select your file. I did a PNG with an alpha channel because I was going to take it in After Effects, which is where I added in the background some of the other effects you saw. And then output, you just want to use whatever res resolution you want. Um, if you're um, going to upload it to YouTube, probably 1280 by 720. Frame rate, I just left it 30. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. And uh, hopefully you learned something a little new, or, you know. This is something I was experimenting with the other day and never saw anyone else do it. Figured I'd pass along to you guys. So I'm out of here, guys. Have fun. Peace.